Have you ever witnessed a more difficult game-winning shot than the one Kyrie just had? Have I? Uh, probably not, um, but I've seen a lot. So, um, but when you say the opposite hand, <laughs> understanding um, his left hand, Kai is one of the best finishers in the league, or, or probably is going to go down as one of the best finishers ever. Um, and just his float game with the right left um, is just natural, and uh, he delivered. I thought Luca uh, put us in a position by tying it, and then uh, Kai being able to uh, read the situation and get the ball. I thought Maxi, um, I don't know if he gets credit for two assists, but um, to be able to get the ball in um, was big. So um, I thought the team stayed together. Um, Denver, the champs, they've seen everything. They came back. Um, but we got stops when we had to, and then we executed late game. I, I assume the play was drawn up for Kyrie. What was the conversation? Yeah, it, it was uh, actually for Maxi has two reads, um, both plays there, um, Luca and and Kai. And Luca was open first on the first one to, to be able to catch and shoot, um, to be able to execute. We practiced this, um, and then to be able to run the same play and have Kai come off the baseline. Um, we talked about it. We ran it in uh, Oklahoma City. Um, and so just to be able to execute and trust one another was, was big this afternoon. Uh, speaking of execution and trust, the defense, especially the defensive help, was very noticeable. Was there a different conversation? Did you notice anything different out there? Why do you think the kind of the intensity on the defense side of the ball was so evident tonight, today? Um, well, I think when you um, – they, they, they executed the game plan, I think, uh, just going into – um, this afternoon, understanding um, Denver dominates the paint, and I think they only got 38 uh, this afternoon uh, with Joker and those guys. You know, Joker's ability to hit the ball in the paint and be able to pass to Gordon. Um, I thought Maxi, I thought PJ, be, being able to put a four on uh, Joker and have our five uh, roam and protect the rim, I thought well, was big tonight with Gafford and uh, D Live. I thought those two did a really good job of executing the game plan, and then being able to rebound out of the out of that. Just you know, that's when you give uh, a free run to Gordon or these other guys on the perimeter, it can you know put you in a, a bad situation rebounding. But I thought again, we did a great job of rebounding the ball. D Jones, uh, PJ, those guys being able to come back and rebound. What did you see uh, in rebounding on the offensive glass and the second chance points when you guys had big numbers in those yeah. categories? Well, they were small, and I think we, we there was a carryover from our, you know, Oklahoma. You know, they're they're small too, and just being able to, I thought Gaff and those guys, PJ, um, D Jones, to be able to give a second or third opportunity. But, uh, Gaff and, and D Live kept the balls alive, and we came up with, uh, you know, second or third opportunities, and you can do that against a, a very talented team like Denver that gives you a chance. Jason, what, what does it show about this, your team that uh, games like this and even Thursday's loss uh, that you kind of handle, I mean, this was obviously playoff intensity in both of those games. Yeah, I think uh, just this is a new group, and we're, we're getting the opportunity to go through it in March. Um, you know, the, the intensity, um, being able to go on the road, like we were in Oklahoma City, that atmosphere, and then to come back home and have the atmosphere it was a playoff type game. Um, understanding what's at stake, um, you know, every game means something. Uh, we protected home, but I thought just the execution of coming together as a team at the right time. And you can see that this afternoon is the trust and the chemistry is there. When uh, when Murray misses that little pull up there, you guys get the rebound. What, what's your level of confidence knowing you've got a few seconds left and? Uh, you know, to the best clutch shot makers in the league. Uh, yeah, I think um, I don't know where we rank uh, in clutch, uh, but it's probably up there. Um, and then being able to have two of the best, uh, it starts with you know, the inbounds, being able to have someone who's conf confident to maybe hold it uh, long enough to get someone open or throw the perfect pass. As you saw, I thought he threw a great pass to Luca for a catch and shoot, which you normally don't get that that opportunity. Um, but to be able to execute late is hopefully going to help us as, as the journey continues in March and April. Coach, with a game like this and with an ending like that and with a team like that, do you allow yourself to feel the emotions of a win like this? That's a great question. 
um, I got to celebrate for about a minute on the court with those guys um, because, uh, you know, it, it's fun to win. It's hard to win in this league. Uh, but as coaches, uh, we have to turn the page quickly to get ready for our next journey, and that's to head down to San Antonio. So um, it was exciting to, to win. Um, it starts the week off right. Yeah, but we understand what we have in front of us, and we can't have any letdowns. So, yes, for a minute you get to celebrate. Um, I wasn't going to jump into the pile. Um, <laughs> thought about it. Uh, knowing my luck, I would have missed and hit the floor. So uh, I thought I'd just sit and stand there and celebrate with those guys. But uh, a lot of fun. It should be fun. And, and this time of the year, as you see in college, but also in the NBA, you can see the physicality. The playoff uh, basketball has, has arrived a little early. Um, and I hope, and we're up for that challenge, and it should be fun. Thanks.